The shutdown of Twitter recently by the government marks one of the latest out of numerous efforts by the federal government to stop citizens from expressing their views on certain government, government decisions, actions or laws. These were views from a cross-section of Nigerians. In this next report, our correspondent Emmanuel Ejene reports that these Nigerians say governments move to shut the voices of the people remains unacceptable. These concerned Nigerians, representing various civil society groups in the country, have come together to brainstorm on several excessively harsh laws and regulations by the government, which have inhibited growth and progress in the country over the years. The last two to ban NBC code and the common law were quickly identified as some of the ways government attempt to repress freedom of speech in the country. The executive director, Global Rights, Abiodun Bayobu, while speaking to newsmen, disclosed that there are 426 infractions by the federal government, out of which 112 is against the media, and 109 hash bills are currently before the National Assembly. Currently, we have more than nine draconian bills at the National Assembly um, that are a threat to not just the civic space, to the security and the cohesion of our nationhood. And we cannot allow that to continue. We're going into 2023, and we must begin to think of how to engage as a people beyond just the voting and the politics around elections to ensure we, we are able to um, hold government accountable to the laws and the policies that they prefer to our civic space. Stakeholders agree that somehow the federal government finds many grounds to stop freedom of speech by hiding under the excuse of insecurity. A major fallout of the NSAS is the exposure draft, which was identified as the next way the government is exploring to for the box civic action. We've seen now what they call uh, a policy paper on ITUs. We've seen NBC Act, Nigerian Broadcasting Commission Act, that restricts the media to broadcast the truth, facts. If the facts are against government, then NBC will censor you as a media house. What are the judiciary doing to set aside these laws? We've seen Kama, Company Allah Matters Act, that provides that civil society must report to a government institution. Where does that happen? And yet, the judiciary is not saying anything about it. I think they have a role to play. Not just the judiciary, also the whole legal community, especially the Nigerian Bar Association. The lawyers have a social responsibility to ensure that these laws are made their way with the country. Legal luminaries also give their own perspective with promise to assist Nigerians in advocacy as well as legally. Governance is a continuum. You know, um, on the one hand, yes, legislative experience is beneficial. But I can ask you the question, what has been the value of the legislative experience? Because if with legislative experience we're getting draconian laws enacted, the question you then ask is how faithful have the older legislators been, you know, to the goals, aims, and positive aspirations of the populace? Because if they, if they were faithful to those aims and positive aspirations of the populace, then you would not have legislations with draconian provisions enacted. The group in a concession agreed that, with more pressure on the legislature, only those laws that promote inclusiveness and in governance will be passed. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.